I've driven a few cars, been lucky enough to drive a few cars. I've never driven anything that's quite, quite so exciting as this. I'm not a mechanic, um, but as a driver, it, it, it's literally the most, the most fabulous thing I've ever driven. It is incredible. Hi, I'm James, and this is my 73 uh, 911 ST recreation. I specced and owned a, a Singer, waited two, two and a half years to get it, and it was a, a, a phenomenal car. The guys there just do the most amazing job. It's just a complete engineering feat and a, and a tribute, really. Then, of course, I, I had the car, brought it back here to the East Coast, and got an offer for it I couldn't refuse, which is always the case with cars. Um, and then I was kind of looking around. I, I, loved, I loved the Singer, it was amazing. It was kind of a little too perfect for me and also probably a little too perfect for the way I, I want to enjoy cars. I sold it and then I started thinking about what I wanted to have next. I've got a very good friend of mine in the UK who's a well-known car dealer and collector. And he phoned me up and said he just got a car in uh, on a part exchange for a Diablo that they had for sale and that I should look at the car. And I was, I was going over to the UK roughly two weeks later. I, I went to see this car uh, and I looked at the pictures and I was like, yeah, it looks good. I was interested. And then he's based in the Cotswolds, which is in an amazing part of England, great driving roads. And I took this car out for a drive and it was just like something else. The car is so dialed in. The motor is, is just magnificent. The Supertech engine in this car is just something else. It, it just brings the whole car alive. It is so visceral. If, if you want a car that maintains your full concentration the whole time, this is the car. If, you, if you're really into also nine, early 911s and the way that they drive, this thing is just the best of the best, I, I, I think. So it was originally um, built in Germany. It was, it was an original 73S. It was done by uh, Otto Noll, I think they're called, a well-respected uh, Porsche specialist in Germany. And it was spec'd by a guy that had an original 911 ST in his collection, and, but he wanted to go racing and enjoy the car, but obviously couldn't because the value of it was going up and up and up. An original ST must be, you know, one, one to one and a half million dollars now. So he basically got the, the 911S and spec'd it up. And, and I think at that point it was running on its original engine. I think they did all the bodywork on it. They did the, the conversion to an, S, an ST with the flared arches. Then I think it was sold to a English guy, he's a historic racer, and then it went to Prill Porsche in Essex in England. Very well respected guys there, Andy Prill, and it was really brought up to standard there, I think. It um, had a lot of work done to it, well over £100,000 worth of work. The, I think the Supertech engine was installed at that point. They did a great job on it, every single detail, and ju just, just the setup is just phenomenal. It's fully set up for racing. Um, it's, I got an FIA, FIA license. Um, so in terms of safety, it's got a full roll cage, uh, fast suppression system. It's got a three liter Supertech twin plug motor. Um, that pushes out, I think, probably upwards of 330 horsepower. The car is very light. The majority of it is, is all fiberglass. Just the, uh, the top is, is, is steel. So I'm not sure what uh, setup it's got suspension wise, but let me tell you, it's, it's dialed. It's dialed in. Everyone, you, everyone you take out in this car, people in their cars, they're like, this, this thing is the shit. Visceral is the word. If you want something that you know is, is so far removed from a modern supercar, like a McLaren or whatever you want, you know, all, all the Ferraris that uh, they seem to pump out every 10 seconds. If you want something that's a proper sports car, you're going to take years to get anywhere near its limit, and it's going to teach you how to drive. I would presume anyone that's going to buy this car would probably know how to drive already, though. <laughs>
For more details on this vehicle or similar, please go to huntingridgemotors.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.